Hi everyone, welcome to my channel ICT Active Learners. This channel is going to help you to learn about the IGCC content of subject 0417. So those who have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever a new video is uploaded. Well, in this video, we are going to work with the May June 2022 paper 32 web page part. So first it says about file management. So you need to create a folder called J2232. So I will create a folder on desktop with the name as they have mentioned. Then I need to look at the following files and store them in your folder as they have mentioned. So we'll just double click here. I have some files here. One, two and three. I will just copy them from here and I will paste them into my folder just like this. That's it. Now display the content of your J2232 folder showing the folder name all file extension then file extension file sizes and image dimensions so take a screenshot of this folder and place them into your evidence document so we'll just click on our folder called g2232 we'll take a screenshot of it and we'll place this one as our evidence one sorry I need to get back to the folder to show the content of this folder just like this. Now I need to take a print screen and paste it over here. Just crop the unrequired area just like this. Then next step is to uh, start with the web page task 4. So you will create a style sheet to be attached to the web page. You copy it uh, to the folder J2232 in step 18. So all color code must be displayed in hexadecimal. So your style sheet must not contain HTML or scripting language. So you need to create a style sheet to meet the following specifications. So add a comment at the start of the style sheet to contain your name center number and candidate number so i will open the application called expression web and then i will start with creation of a style sheet yeah we'll just click on file then create a style sheet and this is our style sheet let me just close this web page so first of all i need to include my name center number and candidate number so for example as a comment i just write my name center number and then my candidate number then i will just close the comment session and now moving forward set the font for h1 h2 h3 so that the browser select the font display the font occasion pro bold if this is not available the font will be selected as times new roman if not serif font so we'll just simply copy this one first of all let me just copy this one just click here and then format a new style with h1 okay and then the font i'm selecting from here for example the one with times new roman like this one and I will change this text to the one I just copied and I will remove the times because they want serif and then um, times in Roman and the occasion pro bold that's it click on apply and ok so this is going to be both for h1 h2 and then for h3 as well ok so next step for h1 we also need the text to be read center line and with a 30 point font size 
so I will begin with another style called h1 again okay the font should be red in color so I will select from here red color and then after it should be center align so block and text align center then it should be 30 point as well so again font the size of the font I'm going to mention here 30 in points apply and ok this is for h1 we have the same thing for h2 h3 so we'll just copy this one or oh, let's begin with h1 separately yeah so we need h2 as well what we need to do in h2 the font is going to be black in color it should be fully justified in 18 point so 18 pt and it should be justify okay that's all for h2 now moving to h3 as well so h3 so the font is going to be again black left align this time font is going to be black alignment is left and then the size is going to be 14 point so 14 and then select the scale to pt points h1 h2 h3 it is done now moving forward set the table 25 percent from the left right margin of the browser window and five from the other margin of the browser so we will just include here about table so table okay table and then position of the table from the margins okay so i will select the position of them or margins for example okay yeah so layout so I'm going to select here from the right as they said 25 percent okay and then from the top from the top bottom and left it's going to be 5 5 percent applying okay this is how it's going to be oh sorry oops yeah we need we made a mistake here so it should be actually the table and uh, not lay out the position of the table okay we will select from here table and then from the top five from the right 25 percent and here five and five so we'll just select from here percentage here also percentage percentage and percentage apply and okay so left right top so these are actually the position of the um, table so if you just write here with it simple margin then score then here also margin from the right and then margin from the bottom and just simply margin from the left so this is what you have actually done next step they said set the padding of all borders to 10 pixels so we need to have the padding of data so it's going to be with td so format so I'm just going to select here simple TD and then um, if we have the option of uh, padding here so we just need to choose that one cell padding yeah and then we just apply to it for example I have here the padding as they mentioned uh, 10 okay so I will just choose here 10 okay and it is going to be p 
pixel so apply and ok so padding is 10 now moving forward to the next part as they said set all table border and grid line so that they are not visible so you just need to mention here something called like table then td okay and the border just mention here zero so nothing is displayed that's it we want the border not to be displayed and then set the background color for the web page which has these components red green blue in this ratio so we will just simply scroll down and include the body of the web page body and then the background and I am going to choose the color as they have mentioned the red green blue so red is DA blue red green blue so I will choose one of them red is to be DA red then green 9F 9F and another one is 25 red green blue okay red green and then blue that's it click on ok apply and ok and then next dimension here set the background for the web page to have an image place like this so now we need to have some other setting for example I have already created this one just modify the style and include the things like we want the picture as a low background as well so browse a picture desktop and go to the folder here you have the image and that is called logo this is the one now what you need to do with this image only once so no repeat then what else in the top right corner so top right corner so we'll select from here right and then top and then with a sorry uh, as they mentioned and in a fixed position so that it will not scroll with the web page so we will select here an option the background attachment fixed and then with the width of 200 and height 150 so we will just select from here the width and height okay so I will just mention here the width is going to be uh, how much uh, 200 okay width so from x axis and then uh, from y x it's going to be 150 150 just click on apply and then just click on ok and that's all I guess yeah so this is done now what you need to do save this style sheet in the case getting style sheet format into your folder with your candidate number and center number so we'll click on file save this one as these details as they mention the name j yeah 32 underscore your center number and then underscore your candidate number then desktop into your folder just like this so now all everything is done there is no uh, any other kind of uh, the background is no repetition now everything is fixed right the URL is even shorter yeah so take a screenshot to show the file name and all content of the style sheet so you need to take a screenshot of it and place this one as your evidence too so this is our evidence too 
just place it here and then uh, crop it so just crop from the areas which are required to be cropped not the style sheet name and the content so then just maximize it so the contents are clearly visible moving forward we need to open the web page in the editing package so we'll just try to open the web page this is the one into the package and then we need to attach the style sheet to it so click on design and we'll click on format and then CSS and then attach a style sheet and this style sheet is going to be the one we just created in step number 19 once it is done then set the title of your web page to Tawara Wildlife Trust so just go to the code and include the title within the body of the web page title the head of the web page Tawara Wildlife Trust and then save your web page and then just click on for example I just click on save and then uh, take a copy of the HTML source okay of this document so just click here select this all copy this one and just paste it as evidence tree into your document events three with all the code and then display your web page in a web browser if necessary resize so that it all the page can be seen all text can be easily read and the address bar is fully visible that's fine just click here then you just click here file preview with the web browser and I'm going to preview ask me later maybe so this is what I can see right now we we'll just take a screenshot of it and we will paste this one as our evidence for evidence for now again if it is required just crop it from the kernels make sure the address of the document I mean the address bar is fully visible as you can see right now and then you just need to print it out your evidence document and that's all from the web page part of this question paper so thanks for watching and we'll see you with the next video